Hey everyone! In today's episode, we model a portion of Mario's body. A large portion. Create a new collection, name it body. Shift S, set the cursor to origin. Add a cube. Add and apply a subdivision modifier. Add another subdivision modifier. Position and scale things to roughly match the shape of his body. In edit mode, move this back vertex forward. And this one as well. Select and delete half. Add a mirror modifier. Move it to the top of the modifier list. Select these top faces and extrude them up. Move this edge back. Edge slide in this corner. Move this one down. And this one in a bit. Select this edge and scale down, move in and rotate. Try to smooth out the shape a bit. Apply the modifiers. Select and delete half of it. Add a mirror modifier. Scale this loop to match the reference and move some of the back vertices forward. Move this bottom vertex up. Shift some stuff around in the shoulder to make room for his armsies. Scale this edge down on the Y axis to match the reference. And now, let's add the arms. In object mode, add a 16 vertex circle. Position, rotate, and scale to about here. Select this edge loop and extrude to the end of the arm. Scale this first circle slightly to taper the arm. Move the circle back on the Y axis. Add an edge loop with Control R about here, and another one here. Alt select this edge loop and extrude it. Merge at center with M. Name this object and put it in the body collection. Add a mirror modifier and shade smooth. Leg time! Add a 16 vertex circle. Position and scale it about here. Select this front vertex and move it forward slightly with proportional on. Extrude this loop up into the body and move it forward. Move this vertex forward, and this vertex out. With proportional off, extrude this edge loop down. Match it to the reference. Extrude down again, move it back slightly. Select this edge loop and hide it with H. Anything that's hidden won't move with proportional editing, so it's super helpful to hide anything you don't want moving. Move this vertex up with proportional on to match the reference. Unhide with Alt H. Move stuff around and scale these two vertices out on the x-axis. Make sure your pivot point is set to median. Move this vertex down slightly. Add in another edge loop here. Select this loop and extrude down. Scale on the x and y axis, locking the z axis with shift z. Hide this loop and move this vertex forward with proportional on. Unhide and with proportional off, extrude this edge loop down. Scale it on the x-axis and match it to the reference. Alt select this edge loop and extrude. Merge at center with M. Move this vertex down. Select all and smooth shade. Add a mirror modifier to the leg object. His chest is pretty low poly, which won't retopo too well, so add a subdivision modifier and scale it to match the reference again. Reposition stuff and move these back vertices forward in groups. I cut an edge loop onto his leg with the knife tool. Somehow I managed to not record that, so that's pretty cool I guess. Select these vertices and edge slide them close to where his leg intersects his body. Add in an edge loop at his knee, add another edge loop about here, and one here. Before you confirm the placement of this one, hit E and then F until the red dot points down. Hide these two loops, and then use proportional editing with connected only enabled to shape this loop like so. You can tab into object mode to check the location of the other edge loops. In the leg and arms mirror modifier, click these buttons so there's less in the way. Select and delete this edge loop. Enable clipping in the mirror modifier, and enable these buttons again if you prefer. Let's retopologize the body. Select vertices and extrude them out onto the body object with snapping to face enabled. I decided the legs were already in a good place, so I might as well use them as the base for the final body object. You can retopo however you want but I'll show you how I did mine. This process can take some time. Just extrude out vertices and make faces as you go. It's kind of hard to see what's happening sometimes, so go into the Object Properties tab and turn on In Front under the Viewport Display. If you're feeling particularly adventurous, you can extrude out entire faces, or even multiple faces at once. Even just the idea of that kind of efficiency frightens me, so I usually just stick to one vertex at a time. 
Occasionally, select all and shade smooth. It'll help you tell if things are looking all right. As you retopple, use whatever tools you might find helpful. I occasionally search for subdivide to add more vertices to an edge. Dissolve edges with X or join them with J or the knife tool. Just whatever gets the job done. Also recalculate normals on occasion. By selecting everything and hitting Alt N, choose recalculate outside. If things start to feel too visually confusing, it can help to select portions of your mesh and hide it. I hid the front while I was working on the back. This overall strap is a surprisingly complex shape to get to work. Just try your best to get everything close to the reference. When you're to this point, select the loop that would be the strap and duplicate it with Shift D. Separate by selection with P. Select this new object and fill in the faces using the same method we used on the chest. Shade Smooth. This edge is a little choppy looking, so select these body objects, currently named legs and legs 1, and smooth it out. Make sure to select the overlapping vertices on both objects. Rename these objects to something that makes sense to you. Add a solidify modifier to the strap object. The shading looks pretty gross currently. So let's select this edge and mark it sharp. Add an edge split modifier and disable edge angle. Adjust the thickness of the solidify modifier. When it looks good, apply the solidify modifier. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave us a like or a comment. If you'd like to help the channel grow, share the video. In the next episode, we'll finish up his body and give him a pair of shoes. Okay, bye. Love you.